everybody, Stacy Burke here, and it's a Monday, so it's time for a grocery haul. For you, it's a Monday. For me, it's a Thursday. I just got off of work, so exhausted, and I'm just wearing sweatpants, uh, pink sweatpants, and this is the Girls Next Door t-shirt, merch t-shirt from the TV show The Girls Next Door. It's kind of printed, kind of crooked. And it's way down here. Ugh, I gotta go like that. And it's like, I don't know. But it's from the Girls Next Door TV show. Uh, it's a little long, so I tucked it in. <laughs> I don't want to cut it. Because I don't want to do anything different to it than me. I have my hair down. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I put it back up. Because, I don't know. It's sticky. I need to wash it really bad. It's really frizzy. Oh, I miss my long hair. I've been watching old videos of me, and my hair used to be longer and thicker. But then when I was going through the divorce, I went through a lot of stress, and I dyed my hair really blonde again, and then I dyed it really red, and then I started cutting it and doing terrible things to it. And then I stopped taking my vitamins, and then just with all the stress, and so it thinned out a lot. So uh, I'm hoping to get back. I've been taking my vitamins, and it's going to take a long time for it to get back the way it was, but. At least I have video of it when it was really, really long and corkscrewy and it was just lovely. I miss it. Now it's all, I don't know, it just changed texture. It's just more frizzy and um, flyaways and stuff. But anyway, let's get to the grocery haul. I have dirty dishes in here because this is all my work stuff and I put them to soak. And um, as I'm putting away the groceries after I film this, I'm going to do the dishes because I don't like dishes sitting overnight. I always have to do them. I can't go to bed without the dishes done. So it's after six. So I'm going to try to hurry this up. So I still have some daylight uh, available. I don't know how much I spent. I spent I spent under $100, which is good. And I've been just trying to go in and out. I went to the big routes again. Um, and after work, I just don't want to spend that much time in there. So I try to just get in and out, but it is kind of hard because they have those this massive um, carts, the, the shopping carts. And I miss my little tiny uh, grocery store that I used to go to. It has like little carts so you could just get in and out. Because I don't need that massive cart. I wish they had smaller car carts. But anyway, I'll stop complaining. I might as well just get this done. The usual suspects, canned cat food, just a bunch of mixture of the fillets, the pits, and um, the shreds or whatever. I'm going to be doing this because my allergy's been acting up a lot. Allergy's been acting up a lot. Okay. Um, I can't find, I, the only grapefruit juice I can find is the pink grapefruit, which I usually get for no sugar added, but I've really been craving the white grapefruit. But I saw this on sale. It's Ocean Spray Immunity. It's probably not even 100% juice. I didn't even notice. I mean, look, it's probably just like flavored water, which, but it has vitamin C and E and antioxidants. It has zinc. It says made with real fruit juice. Well, 40% juice. Not that bad, but uh, immunity and it's orange mango. So I thought, okay, that might be good in my mimosas. I'll try it. So it's orange and mango. So it's just a little different. So I'm, and I kind of like these containers because you don't have to refrigerate it right away. I can put it in the cupboard and then when I do open it, then you refrigerate it. So I kind of like these. They don't take room in the refrigerator until needed. So I got that immunity from my mama, my mom, my mimosas. And then I went ahead and got this. It's a stevia blend, which I don't like. Um, but I don't know. It's just whatever. I just needed the packets because I did buy scoopable, but sometimes the packets are just good. So I just went ahead and grabbed the stevia packets and I made a big pot of spaghetti. Oh my God. It was so good. And I got so full off that I had garlic bread and spaghetti and I ate it for like almost three days and I ate a lot of it. So I had to get some more spaghetti sauce. I just got the canned one, garlic and herb, cheap. It used to be a dollar. Now it's like a dollar ninety nine. But I got two cans of it. 
because when I eat spaghetti, I eat spaghetti. And I tried the cauliflower pasta and it was good. It was good and very filling and very satisfying because I usually jazz it up. You know, I put a little bit of wine in it. I put a lot of my spices in it. I put a little stevia in it, make it a little sweet. I add all the spices you see there into the mix and oh my God, it was so good. And then I get some vegan ground beef in it. Oh, it's so, so good. So I love my pasta and I was craving more. And I went and got some more baking soda because I have some, but I was watching how you could brush your teeth with it. So I'm gonna try it. a little bit of water just to get my teeth little, my pearly whites whiter. So I'm gonna try it. So I got some more baking soda. And of course I got more salsa. And I just got the cheapy, cheapy, medium, traditional salsa that I put in my salads all the time. Today I had I can't, I had the can of asparagus. I made an asparagus salad. It was so, so yummy. I'm just addicted to salad. I love it. Okay, and I went ahead. I haven't tried the grapefruit uh, soda yet. I'm kind of interested in that. It sounds really refreshing. But we got another storm coming, so I'm waiting after the storm because I want it on a hot day. I even heard tequila, like Paloma. I didn't know Paloma is tequila and grapefruit juice. I didn't know that would go together. So maybe I'll try something like that. I got uh, no sugar, Dr. K, which is kind of like uh, the Dr. Pepper. So I got that um, to go with my whiskey. And speaking of that, I got my, I want to get a small bottle, but I'm like, why? It costs more money. It's nineteen ninety nine. I'll get the big bottle. So I did. I got the big bottle, my whiskey. It was still on sale. And olive oil really went up. I got the cheapest. I don't even know how much. I think this was nine dollars. Uh just extra virgin olive oil because lately, like um I have a salad at work and then when I get home, that's what I've been doing, I just get a tortilla and I get vegan butter and I put some garlic and um just a lot of italian spices and then tomatoes and then i just put vegetables like whether it's spinach or zucchini or whatever or mushrooms or whatever vegetables i have left over i put it on top of it and then i put it in the oven and bake it and make like this flat oh and then i have like feta and the blue cheese crumbles or i use like the vegan cheese or something and I just make, basically kind of make a pizza, like a flatbed pizza out of, um, oh, and I drizzle the olive oil on top of it. It's so yummy and so filling and so satisfying. So I got some more olive oil because I got some, but I don't ever want to run out of olive, olive oil. I love it so much. And then for the manager specials, which is not that special, it used to be really good. It used to be 99 cents or 50 cents. But this is protein greens, which, and... Plant protein, which what it what's in it? What's in it? I don't know what's in it, but it's uh, protein greens. I don't know. It looks like it has spinach in it. The the sticker's right where it says what's in it. So I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of um protein greens. So I love you know I use my salad so. And then this was a dollar ninety eight, just butter bliss, um, butter like just butter. What do you call it? Just butter lettuce, I guess. And then two or eight filled greens. So it kind of makes my salads like not so boring. Like I don't know what to expect, so it's just like this goes in the salad. And I'm just gonna mix them all together. This is a field of greens. Know that they will come. And then this was two o two. And this is just Italian, um, shop creamy Italian. Why do I say creamy Italian? Oh, because it has a packet in there. Well, I don't need the packet, but oh well. So I got that. This feels already soggy, so I'll probably have to use that first. Then, I didn't have any ground, uh, vegan ground beef. What I used for my pasta was I just got a, a, a patty. And I crumbled it up. So I'm like, okay, I need some ground beef. So I just got garden, uh, vegan ground beef. So when I make pasta or I can make tacos or whatever, this goes in that. Also, if I ever get potatoes, I make fried potatoes and I put salsa in it and I fry them up with some of this and then you wrap it up in a tortilla. It's so good. So, so, so good. 
And then these were on sale for 79 cents a pound or something like that. So I got an assortment of, um, instead of green peppers, these are yellow peppers, red peppers, and an orange pepper. And that'll go good in my salads or in my flatbed pizzas that I've been making. And of course, I had to get more tortillas because that's what I've been doing. Because you know what? At work, it's good to have a salad because that keeps cold. Like I have to keep it in the cooler and it's easier to eat. And then I get to snack on that and I'm forced to just eat that. And I, I'm usually in the mood for it anyway, but I'm just forced to eat it and it keeps me felt full pretty much. And, um, and then at home, you want something warm because you're able to eat something warm. You can't really take warm food to work. Because it, it doesn't stay warm. And uh, if you don't feel like it and it's cold, you gotta reheat it. So that's when I make my, for dinner, I make my little flatbed. And then I got more broccoli for myself or just for the birdies because I felt bad that I I've, I need something for them. Because um, I've been getting into the broccoli. So I got some broccoli. And then I got some non dairy creamer, their, their brand, just Italian sweet cream. Because I tried that zero sugar. And even though, see, I don't use sugar when I'm home but when I buy stuff that's fake sugar especially the non-dairy creamer or the creamers it just has that funny taste I don't know what it is is this not stevia it's whatever they use and I don't like that fake sugar taste I can handle it in my diet sodas I can handle in certain things but for some reason the creamer their fake sugar I just can't handle so I just went ahead and just got normal sugar Italian cream. Okay. Oops, that I have to look at. Oh yeah. This was like on sale for four something. And this is like I used to get the Mexican blend when I used to get regular um uh cheese. But this is vegan cheese and um it's Mexican. Like oh I don't know good in my tacos and stuff like that. And then this was on sale. Whenever I see manager specials I gotta take it. And I use guacamole a lot. I usually freeze it, but this I'll probably keep in the refrigerator. Because you just squeeze it, so you don't have to open a whole container. You just squeeze it. I'm like, oh, cool. So it's just squeezable guacamole. And I'm like, that will go good in lots of things. Lots of things. And, of course, I had to get another red onion. So I love onion and everything. And I got another zucchini because I've been going through the zucchinis. I didn't get another cucumber. Um, I've been craving more zucchini, so I got another zucchini. I wish I got mushrooms because that will be really good on my pizza. And that was, I don't know. I think it was almost 100, but yet not. Oh, 87.68. Okay. It was under $90. That's pretty good, especially with the how prices are up. And I even got alcohol. That's pretty good. And it was a $20 for the whiskey. So that's not bad, Rouse. That's not bad. So not as good as it used to be, but that's not bad. Okay, well, I'm going to put everything away because uh, this is a busy week. As always, I say that all the time. I keep thinking, oh, it's slow down. No, it doesn't slow down. There's always stuff that's happening and always stuff that's going to be going on. Like, um, I can say this now. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to go see. I got, I've, been, I've been buying the uh, concert tickets. I'm like, so what? I want to, I want to do it. I'm going to be so broke, but I've been wanting to, you know, I already seen Peter Frampton, uh, but it went with a date and it was, it was enjoyable. Don't get me wrong, but it was like, I want to see it on my own terms, just by myself. And he's playing the Greek theater and he's playing Saturday night and I work until five. And so I'm going to have to just wear, wear my work clothes. Because usually when you see me, I'm, I change, you know, because I'm like in my dungarees, you know. But I'm just going to have to, and it's supposed to be raining and cold. So I'm just going to, when I close up shop, I'm going to go drive straight to the Greek in my work clothes, look at my crap, but at least I'll be comfortable and warm. Go to the Greek, see him. When it's done, drive all the way home because I'm taking a shuttle too because the Greek, you got to park. Uh, the parking's real expensive. I like the shuttle. That's my little tip for the Greek. You buy a $10 shuttle thing and you park in a really nice area and it's not all hustle and bustle. And then the shuttle takes you to the Greek and then the shuttle brings you back to your car and it's just less of a headache and you're not dealing with all those people. So I do that 
And so then when I get home, I'm going to sleep for a very little bit because I got to wake up early and go right back to work. So I'm going to be exhausted, exhausted Sunday. Sunday, when I get home from work, I am just going to pass out, literally pass out. So, okay, I got to do a lot of stuff and it's getting late and um, yeah, I'm just getting late. So I better go. To all my stays cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.